Hi, I'm Seung Kim from Yonsei University. I'm going to talking about vibration assisted nano syringe structure using carbon nanotube. Uh, nano needle has a great advantage of avoiding skin irritation caused by repeated use of a syringe. However, nano needle has some problems because of their nano scale length. Uh, nano needle requires high aspect ratio. Uh, however, it is hard to fabricate nano needle with high aspect ratio, and even when success to fabricate the nano needle with high aspect ratio, because of their small diameter, they are brittle. Therefore, it is hard to penetrate nano needle into skin tissue. To overcome this problem, one of the recent studies utilized the elastomer patch. Uh, the approach prevents the needle breaking during the penetration. Uh, however, the system needs to attach the additional elastomer patch on the nano needle surface, so it is hard to say that the approach fundamentally solves the penetration problem. Uh, Another research utilized electroporation to improve penetration. The approach efficiently decreases the puncture force when penetrating the needle, but it severely damaged skin tissue. So we applied triple walled ca carbon nanotubes as a nano syringe model. Carbon nanotube has a needle like geometry with a high aspect ratio and good mechanical properties, uh, such as a high thermal and electrical conductivity, high tensile strength, etc. These properties can prevent the nano needle breaking during the penetration. Uh, in addition, large surface area of carbon nanotube enables various functionalization to either covalent attachment or non-covalent absorption with drug molecules. This allows great potential to carbon nanotube as a nano syringe to deliver drug molecules. This has been reported it has been reported that the triple war carbon nanotube structures exhibit oscillatory behavior depending on the lattice incoherence of their inner and outer war. The authors expect that the oscillation behavior of triple wall carbon nanotube can reduce the interaction between skin tissue and carbon nanotube molecule, then finally reduce the penetration force. Uh, to imitate skin tissue, we adopted the PPC post-polypid bilayer membrane, which has both hydrophilic head group and hydrophobic tail group. Uh, prior to penetrate carbon nanotube into post-polypid bilayer, we try to stabilize the structure of the PPC bilayer. Therefore, we constrain dihedral around atom phosphorus to prevent the spread of two acyl chain. We also constrain position of the atom to prevent the spread of two upper and lower layers. We conduct a simulation while reducing constraint energies and we confirm that the potential energy is stable at each equilibration phase and the position of the PPC upper head group and lower head group is constant during the equilibration. After the structure stabilization, we conducted validation of the PPC post-polypid by layer. First, we compare the trim over the parameter of the membrane. The parameter reflects the phase of the membrane. When deuterium or the parameter value is close to 0.5, lipid bilayer act like perfect crystal. When order parameter value is close to 0, lipid bilayer act like liquid. Um, before we estimate the area per lipid, considering the hydration effect, we fill water molecules in a ratio of of 30.4 compared to the number of lipid molecules. Then we estimated area per lipid, which reflects the quality of force field. Estimated area per lipid shows that 
uh, the value is close to 64, which is the ex experimental value. Prior to penetrating triple world carbon nanotubes into phospholipid bilayer, we inserted single world carbon nanotubes to obtain the resistant force without vibration. Here is the method of carbon nanotube penetration. We use theory molecular dynamics to estimate the resistance force during the penetration. We tether the virtual spring on the center of the mass of carbon nanotube. Spring moves in constant velocity and the pulling, pulling force is applied on the atoms of carbon nanotubes. Pulling force is calculated by multiplying the distance between spring and center of mass of the carbon nanotube and the spring constant k. Initially, the carbon nanotube was positioned at the distance of 3 Armstrong from the water layer. The pulling force was increased until the carbon nanotube reached the water surface. This is because the interaction between upper water layer and carbon nanotube is dominant in the space. After carbon nanotube punctured the water layer, the pulling force reduced until the carbon nanotube reached the hydrophilic head group of the phospholipid bilayer. When the carbon nanotube was pulled to traverse the hydrophilic head group of the bilayer, the required force for pulling become, became higher because carbon nanotube prevents entering the hydrophilic layer. After this phase, as the number of phospholipid around the carbon nanotube surface increases, the interaction between phospholipid tail and carbon nanotube increases and becomes dominant. Then, when the carbon nanotube located at the center of the DPPC layer, the resistance force reaches the maximum value. You can see the distance at the peak point of the maximum force is delayed compared to the distance at the peak point of the interaction energy. This is because the pulling force is estimated from the virtual spring. The interaction is maximum at the distance of 57 Armstrong, but pulling force is estimated by the distance between the spring and the center of mass position of carbon nanotube, so the current carbon nanotube position didn't reflect the maximum interaction energy. Finally, after the carbon nanotube passed the center of lipid membrane, the interaction with phospholipid tail group decreased, so the resistance force continuously reduced. Uh, as we confirm the maximum resistance force point, uh, our future work is penetrating triple war carbon nanotube into bilayer. Prior to the penetration, we plan to design triple war carbon nanotube which has sustainable oscillation. Then we will optimize inserting velocity and oscillation to reduce penetration force. Here is the conclusion. We stabilized the DPPC phospholipid bilayer and estimated the resistance force and interaction energy during the carbon nanotube penetration into DPPC phospholipid bilayers. Our future research plan is penetrating triple wall carbon nanotubes into DPPC phospholipid bilayer to reduce the penetration force. Thank you for listening.